guys. Uh, okay, next up, Robocop from 1987. We all know what Robocop's about, but for those who don't know, uh, essentially the city of Detroit's riddled with crime, so this company develops a cyborg from a... or well, using parts from a terminally wounded cop, and essentially have this uh, Robocop who helps fight the crime in the city. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff happening, so... <laughs> A lot of people love this movie. I I I really like it too. Um, I used to watch this. Well, I still watch it, but um, I used to watch it a lot when I was younger. Um, even when I was probably around eight years old, I have memories of renting this out on VHS, and I'm pretty sure it had those extended scenes in it where you know, like for instance, they they have the botched Ed two o nine thing at the beginning where the guy is just. Uh, now, I'm not sure if you've actually seen, or, or what version you've seen, but there's a scene where not only does he get shot up while he's standing, also while he's, you know, fallen down on this model of this new city that they're building, he's still getting shot to shit everywhere, blood's flying, and it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty graphic, um, <laughs> death. I'm pretty sure that all of that footage was in the original VHS here in Australia. Maybe I'm not remembering it correctly, but I know eventually, you know, later on, on DVD at some point, they they added all this extra footage that wasn't on the earlier DVDs, I think. I, uh, I can't remember. But anyways, it's a classic movie for me. I really enjoy it. I like a lot of the characters, even a lot of the bad guys in the movie are quite enjoyable in their own way. They all have their own personalities. It's got a lot of graphic violence. Um, it's a good movie all around. What do you think of this one? Yeah, this is probably one of the few times I'm going to agree that the non-horror movie is the best movie of the night. You know, I, I, I've only seen this once before, but it, it's a you know really good movie. It's enjoyable. It's a nice sort of dystopic futuristic type thing going on <laughs> where a, a corporation literally buys the police force that's uh, fantastic stuff and of course that comes up with <laughs> so many problems you know one thing I really like about this movie it, you know the, the little news clips and the like, commercials and <laughs> it just gives sort of like a you get to, like you get to look into what the society is actually like what what you're seeing on the news you know how they're getting this information and it's just Living in a society like that would just be so shitty. And, of course, you, you couple that with fantastic spatial effects. Well, not all of them are fantastic, but, uh, you know, they're, they're decent, um, especially for the time. And pretty good performances. And it's just a it's a really fun movie throughout. Yeah. Sucks to, your first day on the job transferred <laughs> and you, you get massacred. <laughs> yeah, talk about that luck. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they establish him his character pretty well they show that he's a bit of a family man and which makes it makes it a little more sad than <laughs> you know if it was just some random guy with no you know no family and yeah i'll say one thing i really like about this movie so after the whole thing where the guy gets shot and sort of reconfigured into a cyborg type thing i feel like a lot of movies would have him trying to reconnect with his wife and kid but this movie I mean, he he investigates a bit once he you know starts remembering who he was, but we, the only time we see the wife and kid are pretty much through flashbacks, which I think had a bit more of an emotional impact, and I I was definitely happy that they tried to pull those characters back in somehow. Mm. I take it you haven't seen Robocop two. Oh God, um, I have not. <laughs> well, I actually like Robocop two. As much as I like the first movie, uh, a, a lot of other people think it's, you know, Robocop 2 is still a good movie, but not as good as the first. But they do, only very briefly, they do have him, you know, stalking his family, kind of. <laughs> okay. I, I could see it. I mean, it makes some sense. I'm just happy they left there in the second movie. Yeah. It's still only a very small part of the second movie. It's only like two scenes, maybe. But. Yeah, they they do touch on that a little bit there. <laughs> I mean, since you haven't seen it, we'll we'll have to do that one sometime in the, in the near future because I think it's still a really good movie. And then we can go to Robocop Three for it as a classic. Yeah, well, 
Robocop 3, uh, I can leave that one. Uh, <laughs> anyways, back to Robocop, the original movie. I, I, I think part of the reason why you may actually enjoy this out of all the other movies we're discussing tonight, which are horror movies, is this probably still has some of the best death scenes out of yes. all those movies. Yeah, like you said, it's it's a very graphic violence here, and I just, it's fantastic stuff. A horror fan has to appreciate that one death where the guy just gets, um, I don't know, some sort of chemical spilt all over <laughs> him, and he's just kind of like melting. And... Yeah, that, that was that, that was pretty gruesome. That was, I actually I forgot that scene. So when I saw this scene again, you know, it's sort of like, it's like you know, it's a fantastic stuff. And actually, I have to imagine some people in the uh, theaters when this came out <laughs> may may not have been too impressed with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, the bad guys in the movie in general, the this gang of what is it, four or five different guys? I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it's five guys, but. You know, the the majority of them all have, like I said earlier, they all kind of, ha- in their own way, have their own unique personalities, which all stand out. Uh, obviously, the main one, Clarence, um, he he stands out the most, and you all you all really hate them, but at the same time, <laughs> you kind of enjoy their personalities. So it's one of those rare movies where I, I wouldn't say you're rooting for the bad guys, but the b- bad guys make the movie just so much more enjoyable. Yeah, and, and one thing I'll bring up, and like I said, since it's been so long since I've seen this, I forgot some of the finer details. So, I actually sort of assumed that Miguel Fuhrer's character was one of the main antagonists, um, which isn't necessarily the case. He actually doesn't make it much more past halfway through the movie. <laughs> so, that was a sort of a nice surprise when it <laughs> turns out the other guy, you know, is who seems like an okay guy at the beginning, just like Miss, you know, has a few issues with the um his robot program, but then we see that he's the main issue. So I, I just thought it was a little nice of, not necessarily a twist, but somewhat unexpected tone of events. He just fucked <laughs> with the wrong guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a great scene, too. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering now um, that... That guy, the um, now I can't remember his name. Uh, I I know the actor's name, Ronnie Cox. Um, and I, I well, his his name in the movie is Richard, but they call him Dick in some. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering, it, 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 did they do that? Call him Dick? I I know Dick is kind of like the nickname for Richard, but did they call him Richard because his last name is Cox, so they can make Dick and Cox jokes? I, I don't know. That is a question for the ages. <laughs> I know it's C O X, but come on. <laughs> and actually, um, speaking, of, I I also really like the ending of the movie. You know, where there's like a fourth directive, Robocop must follow, and the way they get around that, it's simple, but it's tall. I mean, who doesn't like the ending? Just fun <laughs> stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. In fact, there's a. When this movie got remade, I can't remember how many years ago it was, four or five years ago. At that time, the internet had their own remake of the movie where, you know, a bunch of either amateurish filmmakers or people who just, uh, they, they just got a collection of different people do their own scenes from the movie. <laughs> and, and they're all performed in all different kinds of ways. Some of them are performed just purely like someone's trying to make a movie, then like, there's one scene where... Oh, y- you'd have to search it. It's called Our Robocop Remake. And it's actually really funny. Uh, the There's certain scenes... Like, the scene where Murphy gets shot to shit by the bad guys in the beginning. They recreate the scene with babies. <laughs> with, with the actual audio from the movie, um, you know, put in over it. They're holding these babies in clothing that one's dressed like a cop, the other one's dressed like Clarence, a bad guy with glasses and stuff. It's fucking funny. And then then there's one scene where, you know, they they spoof the scene where Robocop shoots a guy in the dick. In this one, he shoots a guy in the dick, and then suddenly all these other rapists just come out of nowhere, and he's shooting, like, a hundred different guys in the dick. (laughs) 
and uh, that's probably the one that gets talked about the most, but one that I really, really love is towards the end, you know how in this movie you've got the Ed 209 guarding the building? Yes. And, uh, yeah, Murphy comes along, shoots it. In this one, same thing happens, but before he shoots it, Ed 209 quickly says, no, I have a family. Then they do this flashback of Ed 209 with <laughs> little Ed 209s. It's so hilarious. You you got to watch it. I, I'm sure it's on YouTube. I mean, obviously there's some scenes that kind of fall flat or I didn't find amusing, but it's just so wacky and so, so much more fun than watching the Robocop remake. <laughs> yeah, no, I've not seen the um, remake, but I have to imagine it feels somewhat soulless. Yeah, it, I mean, to be honest, it wasn't bad. It was just, it just feels like a mainstream movie that doesn't have any of the special, any of the things that really made the original one special. You know, it just felt like a mainstream movie. Yeah, so Robocop, it's 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 a really great movie. Uh, there's a lot of fun to be had here. A lot of great characters. A lot of standout deaths in the movie. It's quite graphic. Uh, there's a lot to like about the movie. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. And... I'll leave it to you. Yeah, so... um, it, it, It's a pretty fun action movie. I mean, you know, with some sci-fi thrown in. It's, a, it's just a all-around enjoyable movie. Fantastic performances, fantastic effects. It... it I just I have a hard time, you know, imagining the type of individual who doesn't get anything out of this. It's you know it's it, it's a longer movie, but it, it keeps you engaged throughout. It's a just a good thing. It's fantastic. So I'm throwing this one also a nine out of ten. That's right. You like that RoboCop, don't you? Some good stuff. Yeah.